namo dada bhagavado arahado nama dambo dada namo dada bhagavado arahado nama dambo dada Welcome to Pa'a Toya Monastery. This is the place where meditation yogis can know and see all that Venerable Buddha Gosa has written about in his book called the Visuddhi Magga or The Path to Purification. There are many things to see at Pa'ak Forest Monastery. In this brief moment, we will attempt to show you a few things that make up the components of the daily life at Pa'ak Meditation Center. You will be brought through a portion of the daily schedule starting in the morning and then slowly going through to the day's end. Wake up time is at 3.30 a.m. After the yogis get their personal things together, they meditate from 4 o'clock a.m. to approximately 5.30 a.m. Afterwards, they chant the four daily reflections on how they should use their robes their food, their dwelling places, and their medicines. Breakfast is served at approximately 6 o'clock a.m. Venerable Pa'ak Saidao leads the alms food line and then the foreigner monks, or what we call bhikkhus, are to follow. During lunch, the foreigners are served different food selections. This different food selection is easier to digest for foreigners who are not used to the local Burmese cuisine. There are approximately 50 foreigner monks here at one time, which makes up approximately half of the 100 to 110 foreigner residents. Shortly afterwards, the local Burmese monks get their food as well. They are served the regular local cuisine. The younger monks, which we call Samaneras, get their food after that. The meals for the whole monastery feed approximately 700 residents. The meals are sponsored daily by one single person or by a group. The meditation hall and Venerable Pa'ok Saidao's Kuti are located at the base of Chitala Babata Hill. The views from this hill are spectacular. Venerable Pa'ok Saidao's Kuti was built and donated together with the meditation hall in the year 2000. The Kuti serves not only as his personal residence, but it is also used for meditation yogis interviews and for special meetings as well. 
The Ashoka Pillar is much respected by all Theravada Buddhists. This represents the propagation efforts by an Indian king who was changed by the Buddha's teachings. The teachings have been lost in India, but today they are survived in Burma as well as other countries. We owe much reverence to King Ashoka for the continuation of the Buddha's teachings. Before all of the construction took place, Venerable Paul Oxido lived contently in a traditional Burmese-style kuti. Today, there are over 250 individual kutis at Paok Forest Monastery. Over time, much construction has taken place. These are some of the first kutis that were built at the bottom of Chitala Babata Hill. Here is where the meditation yogis can stay when they first begin their practice at Pa'o.